So I, I guess I'm going to throw out all my Avengers jokes. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Professor Paul Denigris, Program Champion for Digital Video at UAT. And it is my honor to introduce your 2015 valedictorian. Now, it is incredibly rare for a student in the DV program to be the valedictorian at UAT's commencement. In fact, it's so rare, it has never happened before. The, uh, the long hours that my students put in on set, on location, in the studio, they're not really conducive to getting their homework done for other classes, much to the annoyance of my fellow faculty. Sorry, guys. So the fact that this student managed to score top marks in all her classes while never saying no to an extracurricular film challenge is just an amazing feat. When I first met this student, it was over Skype, which is a very UAT kind of thing. It was over Skype. We were doing a long-distance Q&A following a screening of her film Recipe for Love during the very first UAT DV film festival that we held a couple of years ago. And not only was her film just, you know, charming, heartwarming, funny, but also this student just carried herself during that Q&A as if she had been doing it for years. She was such a consummate professional even then. And I knew that we absolutely had to have her as part of the program, that she would be a great asset to DV and to the university. And she has proven me right every day since. She has represented the university and the DV program at film festivals here in Arizona, back home in Halifax, Nova Scotia, as far away as Croatia, and seemingly every point in between. She really is one of the brightest stars that's ever been part of UAT's galaxy. So it is my great honor to introduce to you your 2015 valedictorian, Gwyneth Christoffel. Honored guests, UAT community, graduates, family, and friends. In William Shakespeare's play Hamlet, Polonius gives his son Laertes a lot of advice as he heads out into the world. His last piece of advice is, this above all, to thine own self be true, and it must follow as the night the day Thou canst not then be false to any man. Each one of us chose UAT above all other schools for a specific reason. We are all passionate about technology and knew this school would help us stay on the path to our true selves. UAT is like and unlike any other university. This school has opened our eyes to the world of technology in more ways than we could have ever imagined. As much as we've heard the word innovation over our time at school, we've been pushed beyond our limits and we are beginning to think outside the box. Stop and think about it. We've actually learned so much since we've been here and we have so many people to thank for that. Each one of us has some sort of support, whether it's family, friends, or a belief system that has encouraged and guided us just as Polonius encouraged and guided his son. I know that if I've ever needed a word of wisdom, my family has been a FaceTime call away, and I'm extremely grateful for that. So I'd like to take this moment to thank those of you in the audience or the ones over the live stream who have helped us reach graduation, graduation today. So to those on the live stream at home, hi, Grandmom, and hi, all the rest of the family that are watching. There's also the UAT family to take into consideration. There's a saying, friends are family you choose for yourself. By choosing a school, we've inducted ourselves into this great community. I've made friends for life here, and I know that we've all been given the same opportunity. Even if we haven't spoken before, I've probably seen one of you guys in the common cafe or hallways, unless you're a NetSec student and you're constantly working hard hiding out in the cyber cave. Another big part of the UAT community is the people in administration. You have worked hard to keep the school running and have made sure that we've made it from our first day to graduation successfully. I know that if I've ever needed someone, someone has been there immediately to help me, so thank you. Now, our professors, you have spent so much time preparing, teaching, and marking. We wouldn't be here now without the support and expertise you've given us. 
When I was writing the speech, I was remembering all my amazing professors and the ways they've helped me. Vesna pushed me past my comfort zone and made me realize I could do so many things with Photoshop I didn't even realize. Craig Bellinger made ethics fun, interesting, and understandable. Portillo's drive and enthusiasm is infectious. Sharon Bowman is generous, kind, and has a wealth of knowledge. And Paul DeNegris is an expert in filmmaking. He's dedicated to the program and goes above and beyond making sure we all have the skills we need in order to enter the film industry. I know all my fellow graduates will be thinking now of maybe their professors and what similar kinds of things they've helped them out with. You have opened our eyes to things we thought we could never do, inspired us with your enthusiasm for the subject matter, and you've been patient, very patient. <laughs> So I'd like to invite you, fellow graduates, in a, joining me in a round of applause for the faculty, administration, and staff who have gotten us here today. A piece of advice, just like Ashley mentioned before, make sure you thank these people in form of a thank you card or in person. They'll love it, trust me. So we have been given a lot of support, but it's important to remember how hard we've worked. We are all here today because we've dedicated a substantial amount of time to work and, and time to stay here, succeed here. Congratulations to each and every one of you on this amazing accomplishment. Wouldn't it be nice if we had a nice break? I know that if I get any time, I'm probably going to be cooking, watching Netflix, and sleeping. Seriously though, it's important to find this balance between work and play so you don't burn out, and I really have to take my own advice sometimes. Also, don't forget to lift your head from your screens and experience the world around you once in a while. There are pretty amazing things to see. We can be very proud of our accomplishment. And now it's time to go out and make UAT proud. The real world, scary, I know. But I believe we are all now equipped with the skills we need. In addition to everything related to my digital video degree, I have learned a lot about myself and life since I've moved here. The learning never ends. What have you learned? What have you yet to learn? The most important thing I've learned relates directly to what Polonius shared with his son. It's important to stay true to yourself. If you know in your heart that you can do something, don't let others stop you or pull you down. Respect yourself and also respect others. And as the night follows day, as long as you hold on to your drive and are kind to others, you can go anywhere. That being said, opportunities won't necessarily arrive at your doorstep. I attended TEDx Phoenix a couple weeks ago, on this very stage actually, where a speaker said, no one is going to pick you out of a crowd and say, you there, you have the exact talent I need. You have to stand up, wave your arms, and make yourself visible in the crowd. I am really looking forward to my next phase in life. There are so many possibilities, and I know none of them are going to be easy, but I know I want to take risks and learn along the way. I hope you all feel the same way as well. I am in awe of how smart you all are, and I'm extremely honored to be graduating with all of you. So congratulations, everyone. Thank you.